All right, so in this video, I'm pretty much doing something that's the opposite of what I normally do. This time, instead of put, publishing a tutorial or a demo, I'm the one asking for help. And uh, what I'm working on, if you guys, uh, in case you know, you guys have been following me for a while, uh, you guys are probably aware that uh, one of my biggest areas of research is in being able to reproduce the type of quality films that Disney uh dreamworks uh warner bros was producing back in the 90s you know in the early 90s to late 90s um you know tarzan the iron giant um uh the road to el dorado those type of movies and these are movies that utilize hand-drawn 2d animation uh combined with 3d environments those 3d environments usually also involve hand-painted or at least painterly rendered uh, backgrounds, which that's that's besides the point. Um, now, even though in my production, I don't necessarily uh, want to have everything 100% hand drawn. I am using a combination of motion capture that's converted to 2D animation, which is I think is cool as hell. Um, which is gonna make everything faster. And of course, the compositing works great within iClone. Okay, so what you're looking at here is this is iClone. All I had to do was drag and drop my animated video with a transparent background. I can either do it as a video file and uh, you know uh, have like a alpha mat in there that'll tell it that it's transparent, or use Reillusions, you know, closed proprietary format, which is Pop Video. Uh, and that kind of, that that works great. I mean, I have no problem with that. Um, in many cases, it seems to be superior to a lot of the other stuff that I've tried uh, for chroma keying and stuff. Um, so that uh, you know, that's fine. The problem that I'm having with iClone is that it's very closed ecosystem minded. You know. Um, a lot of the stuff I can't get it to work in outside programs. You know, I can't just export a model from here, especially if I bought it from the marketplace without the extra license. And even if I am able to export it, uh, when I want to, you know, alter the the textures and stuff uh, with that more painterly look that I need for you know the kind of films that I'm going to produce. It's a pain in the ass, you know. I have to go through 3D Exchange, another program that's part of their closed ecosystem uh, that's required. Uh, the other, the other uh, cons that I have uh, with this particular thing is that they're constantly making these radical changes that break your pipeline. Um, right now, I'm literally having to revert back to 3D Exchange five. 5.5 and iClone 6 in order to have a stable working pipeline. Uh, every time they make an update, they deactivate useful stuff, or at least useful to me. Um, I made the investment, you know, with the motion capture stuff, you know, for the perception neuron and for the connect stuff. None of it works now. I have to invest again in buying that crap all over again. I don't want to do that. And even though I think I'll be perfectly fine with iClone 6 for this particular workflow at this point, I'm confident that it'll work. Um, I'm comparing it to on the Unreal Engine and I've gotten a little bit with Unreal Engine like take a look at this this is the Unreal Engine and this is just out of the box okay this is one of the scenes that I bought from the the marketplace uh, over at the Unreal uh, marketplace um, it looks beautiful this is a clip here now this particular clip uh, let's see here That's this one right here. And this is inside of iClone as well. And uh, notice the difference. I mean, the rendering and stuff. And yeah, I could probably fiddle around with the lighting a little bit more. But you know what? I didn't have to fiddle with the lighting at all in Unreal Engine. It just works out of the box. It makes it look beautiful. And 
it it just just the lighting alone makes it gives it that 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 Disney quality that you see in a feature film. Um, but from a compositing standpoint, it's fine. It's perfectly serviceable. You know, uh, I just cannot look for. I'm not looking forward to having to retexture all this stuff and finding out what works and what doesn't. I know that Reillusion has its own marketplace, so. I can probably find a lot of the assets that I need to speed things up for my production. Um, but I know I'm also gonna have to create a lot of my own custom stuff. And working back and forth between all the different products, I think I'm just gonna have a very miserable time and I'm probably gonna end up giving up on it at some point. Um, the Unreal Game Engine. It seems like from a functional standpoint, it is exactly what I've been looking for. And I mean, just out of the box, look how beautiful this looks. There's no shading applied to it if on my part. I haven't clicked on anything. I basically uh, just brought in like an image plate uh, thing and or something like that. But the problem is I can't even figure out how to remove this background. Can I really do compositing? I've seen some samples, I've seen some demos, people have done some great stuff. And the moment I try to follow the tutorials, you start getting into these crazy ass routines where you gotta make your object and set up like 30 different uh, nodes in um, what they call blueprint uh, and just wire things here, wire things there, dude. Can't I just drop something in there and tell it, hey, the green is invisible? Or better yet, can I just drop something in there and tell it this is a chroma key thing and just have it be invisible? I mean, or, ha or, or, or can I just drag and drop a freaking transparent video and have it know exactly what it is, a transparent video? It's, I've spent I don't know how many days so far trying to figure this out. I've looked into uh, Composure. Composure seems to uh, be built around image backgrounds. You can bring in a video, use it as a background, but you got your CG elements. I'm not trying to make a CG film, you know. I'm, I'm trying to make a 2D, well, I guess technically it does. It is still, even if it's 2D, right, it's still technically a CG film. But you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing something like a Toy Story thing where the main characters are 3D models and I, I can benefit with the compositing of the background. You know, I don't need that. I need the reverse of that. I want my backgrounds to be full 3D environments that I can just manipulate by changing the camera angles and I want to be able to just place my characters and my actions and stuff in multiple layers and multiple areas within a 3D environment and just film it you know and it seems like it was, should be something so easy and there's got to be somebody out there who has figured that out so uh, I know this uh, video is a little bit long-winded and stuff but I kind of want uh, those who are going to see this video to kind of understand where I'm coming from I mean, no, you know, I'm not a 3D guy per se. I know enough to be dangerous, I'm quick to learn. But when I look at these videos, you know, about how to take a Im image and put it in in Unreal Game Engine and make it transparent and do this, and then I start seeing this one hour long process as to how they go around wiring one node to another and bringing this thing here and the diffuse channel and this and that I'm like holy crap do I literally have to do this for every single image plate that I'm gonna be bringing in to produce a three second sequence on a hundred and twenty uh, page feature film that is ridiculous it's gotta I mean uh, I know I'm probably missing stuff I'm missing something um, so if anybody out there knows and understands kind of what I'm trying to do, uh, please send me your suggestions, send me your ideas. If you can put out a tutorial that makes it uh, this type of workflow, uh, uh, you know, uh, comprehensive and easy, I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, you know, just imagine, you know, I, I just want to have a character. If, if he's, it's a walk cycle, but it's a video because I'm working with 2D animation. 
and I want to drop it into my stage. I'm, I'm calling it a stage, but I'm dropping it into the 3D environment here. How do I have that walk cycle be transparent so I can just animate that video, I guess, walking from one side of the, 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 the area to the other, be transparent, maybe have a camera follow it. How do I do that? It seems like it should be something so easy. I know I can do it in iClone in like freaking 10 seconds. But uh, I don't have to click on anything. I just drag and drop. I tell it, okay, this is transparent. Boom, I'm done. But, um, and I guess, you know, that's part of iClone's nature that is meant to be easy. But it just feels like it's something that, that should be universally universally easy, right? So if you, under, if you guys understand what I'm talking about, uh, and if you're still listening to this long-ass video, um, please let me know any, any anything you guys can do to help me uh move this forward i uh, will greatly be appreciated i mean i definitely think the unreal game game engine is going to be the way to go for uh my film and that's going to be the final piece that i need uh to get started you know to get started I, i'm ready to i'm ready to get this thing done and i think it's going to look beautiful and um you know this is a no budget film and I'm pretty much doing it all on my own and uh, I hope that I'm gonna turn some heads with the final product and what can be done with no budget and <laughs> uh, some really really low-end to well, not low-end tools but low budget or affordable tools I mean I'm freaking using you know cartoon animator crazy talk animator for my 2d stuff you know I'm using um, motion capture to capture a lot of the, 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 the animations that are being done here so that it saves time and stuff. So ultimately this is probably gonna be the, or I'm hoping it's gonna be the, one of the most expensive looking 2D films with the least amount of money used to actually make it. <laughs> but um, all right, I'm digressing now, so. Um, Guys, please um, feel free to send me an email. That's ibis at toontitan.com or, you know, just reply to uh, whatever forums I end up posting this video on. And, uh, you know, let me know.